Good morning. I'm King County Executive Dow Constantine. We are here today to shine a spotlight on hate in our community and to tell out of town groups stay out of Burien, stay out of King County. You are the ones who are not welcome here or any place right. in America. We are here to call attention to the outrageous flyer mailed to thousands of Burien residents by the phony Respect Washington group, the biggest funder of which is the known, a known hate group out of Michigan. This letter demonizes local immigrants. It recklessly includes names and addresses. It is nothing but fear-mongering and intimidation, straight out of Trump's playbook. And yes. I am furious, and you should be too. This is personal. I represented Burien in the House and in the Senate, on the County Council, and as County Executive. I grew up right around, I went to preschool not half a mile from here. I spent my whole life here. And this is not the Burien I know. These are these are Trump values, not Burian values. And I don't think, yes. I don't think that the people who rejected Donald Trump and his hateful agenda by more than 75% here in Burian are going to tolerate this. That's right. 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 America must be a beacon of hope and of opportunity for the world. But this right-wing hate group is willing to risk innocent lives to advance its political agenda. Together, we will stand for the true meaning of America and show that discrimination and hate will be given no quarter in Martin Luther King County. We have a particular responsibility to our young people who are growing up in an age with so much division. At Kent Meridian High School, racist graffiti was discovered just a few days ago. To the students there who are standing up to say threats against Muslims have no place in our school, we are there standing with you. And today, here in Burien, we stand united. United for our common values of tolerance and equality. United in the belief that prosperity for all grows when opportunity is expanded. Division and hate and scapegoating only serve to weaken our community. So let's start today. Let's start here in Burien to create an America of equity and opportunity, a place where all are welcome and where all truly belong. Go back to Seattle. It is my honor to introduce the Deputy Mayor of the City of Burien, Nancy Tostin. Thank you, Dow, and others for coming to Burien to show us your support, the support for our community, and to condemn the forces that seek to divide us. I'm Nancy Tosta. I'm serving as a council member here in Burien, but I'm also, so I have a role as a leader in this community, but I'm also a resident neighbor and friend and have been so for many decades. So I speak from both positions. We are a community of many diverse points of view. We are growing and we continue to diversify. For the decades I've lived here, I've loved how we've changed and how we've been able to manage that growth. We've welcomed those who choose to live here. How we survived the recession to build out our beautiful town square and how we've embraced all of our diverse cultures. But things have changed this past year. 
forces from outside our community have made efforts to divide us. And within our community, people who might have different views from me, but to whom I used to be able to speak, have now taken to attacking and turning their heads when I say hello and expressing anger and spreading misinformation. We are seeing this in our council and we're seeing it in our high schools. We who used to be accepting, our students who used to be accepting of other classmates are now divided and this is not the future we want. I have not seen or felt this kind of hate in Burien before. It pains me. Hate has an intentional desire to harm or to see hurt come to others. Hate doesn't empathize. Hate sees enemies. It's not hate. It's hate more doesn't allow lives. you to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Hate assumes the worst about others. Respect Washington has and continues to fuel the spread of hate in this community. Lies. It is deeply, deeply wrong, and I, for one, am willing to stand up and condemn what they are trying to do to us. They are praying. <laughs> they are praying on the goals, on our population, to further their goals of making us believe that bad people, so-called illegal aliens, live among us. They so have testified at council meetings, they've shared inflammatory literature, have hired paid petitioners to undermine our adopted council policy, and they've enlisted members of the community to work with them. Last week, as Dow said, many of our Burianites received hate emails, hate letters that targeted specific individuals in our community. This is not to be tolerated. I ask all Burian residents to stand up to this hate. Please do not let it permeate our community. Reach out to neighbors and friends, especially anyone tainted by Respect Washington. Let them know you have their backs. Please look around and think actively about how you can fight hate. Put yourself in other shoes. Stand up for those who don't have all that you do, who may not have your privilege. Look out for each other. Don't spread lies. Don't spread hate. We, Burian, we are a strong, resilient community with a lot of compassion, and we can rise above this. That's right. Do not let Respect Washington determine our future. With that, I'd like to introduce King County Council Chair Joe McDermott. I've been hurt, as so many of us have, to see immigrants and refugees demonized over the last year, time and time again. And this mailer is particularly hurtful. It's offensive. It is designed to instill fear and division within our community. Incidences like this are an example of the challenges that our friends and family in the immigrant and refugee community face every day. But having lived my entire life in this area and represented Burien for some 17 years, I have faith in Burien and in King County. For we know that this doesn't represent Burien. Burien values include being a positive and welcoming community, including for the over one in four King County residents who are foreign born. King County stepped up earlier this year, creating the Resilience Fund to, to support immigrants and refugees throughout our community. Burien will reject this offensive tactic, which is truly dangerous to public safety. We will appeal to the better nature of Burien residents, and I call on them to be the welcoming, supportive, and inclusive community that I know them to be. And now I have the pleasure of introducing Kerry Gibbard Klein and Hugo Bar Garcia from Represent Burien. Gibber Klein, and this is 
my friend and my neighbor. Soy Hugo Garcia. Muchas gracias a todos por estar aquí con nosotros. Thank you all for being here. We're really excited to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. And we want to thank Dow Constantine and other elected officials for being present. It was mentioned that we want to put a spotlight on the hate and denounce it. And we also want to put a spotlight on the love and uplift it. Uh, without a question, it's, it's been a labor of love and time and commitment to our community since the beginning of the year when we started to see more and more of this hate and, and hateful actions uh, more out here in Buren. We got People together with neighbors. Up. We got together with neighbors. We combated. We were out in the streets when these folks were out petitioning at, uh, at grocery stores with misinformation, fear mongering. Few of us were able to get together and go out to these, to these grocery stores. Some of them, uh, they were you know, scaring all members of the community. And it, it's really something that's really critical for us to be aware and alert. And I do appreciate all the leaders that are here from the community, but it's really time that, that we do more. I really yes. think we yes. need to do more. Yes. There, is no, there, is no, there's no access to immigrant communities at city council meetings. Over the last nine months, I've been going, I've brought my parents, I've had to translate for them. Uh, the, the meetings are not easily accessible to all members of the community, and we brought it up, and not all city council members are like Ms. Tosta, or uh, like Ms. Berkowitz, or Bell, who are proactively trying to support We're our communities to make sure that we, we have Get access to these, money. to the to the elected officials. We need your help. As you can see behind me, like this is real. Stuff like this is happening and it's spreading. So we need your support. We need a immigration task force here in Buren to us so that we have a way to communicate to elected officials in a safe manner what is going on. Because as you can see right here, right now, the hate is growing and it's not, it's not, it's not something that you see, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles away in small towns. It's right here, right, right here, 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 right next door to Seattle in the heart of King County. So we need your support and not not just at a press conference, but able to give us some, some feedback and support us when things like this are happening. Yeah. especially if you're a resident in Burien, to speak your voice during public comment period. You can contact Para Los Niños, a local grassroots organization that supports immigrant families yeah. and Latino kids. You can donate to Para Los Niños through their website. If you're not able to volunteer, you could perhaps give funds or spread the message of what they're doing. You can also show up to all the amazing events that happen in Burien. Just last weekend, I got to watch 10 wiener dogs race during the annual <laughs> wiener dog race for the in Burien. It was awesome. You can go to Black Zia and eat some delicious fried bread and tacos there. There's so many ways to be a part of this beautiful community here in Burien. And part of what Burien represent is doing is building that community, doing things like sending love letters to those who are targeted and letters of op opposition to yeah. respect Washington. Well, that's right. And making sure that those who do not have a voice because they're not being listened to, not because they're not being spoken, but because they're not being listened to, we're lifting up those voices and amplifying them for our community. So we want to thank you for showing up today and to not just put the spotlight on this now, but to continue to be dedicated throughout not only this election, but beyond that to supporting these communities. If you are a Burian voter, we do encourage you to vote for Jimmy Mata, for Nancy Tassa, for Pedro O'Gee, yes. and for Crystal Mata. Yes. 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 happen to live just up 4th Avenue, 4th Street here, so um, this is a personal issue for me as well, but it's one that strikes the heart of what is happening today in the United States, across this country, and in communities across King County. There is significant fear in immigrant refugee communities, driven by the rhetoric that is happening at the national level, as well as misguided policy strategies at the national level, being echoed by organizations paid for and supported by anti-immigrant, racist organizations at the national level. 
And here in Burien, there is a real fight about the heart and soul of who this community is. Respect Washington, by sending that letter, went way too far. Planetary, willing to encourage vigilante violence and politically motivated all at once, this is unacceptable behavior. And it's responsibility for all of us to hold Respect Washington accountable through our own actions by engaging with community organizations like Burien Represent, Para Los Niños, the Washington Immigrant Solidarity Network, our own organization, One America, and others who are projecting a positive view of our nation, of our community, and taking a stand for what's right. Because what Respect Washington did was disrespectful of our community, disrespectful of our heritage, disrespectful of the city of Burien, disrespectful of Burien voters, yeah. Willing yes. to basically scare people into doing the wrong thing. This is a time for all of us to rise above the fear and make a very clear statement that together we stand for a community united, ready to support each other in this time of difficulty and challenge, but in this time of opportunity to reflect who we really are as a community. Thank you, Rich. So as I said, we stand united. And I also want to thank, for being here today, uh, Burien Councilmember Austin Bell. From West Seattle, Councilmember Lorena Gonzalez. State Representative from the 34th District, Joe Fitzgibbon. From the 33rd District State Representative, Mia Gregerson. Yeah. And Tina Orwell. And State Senator Karen Kaiser and so many others. Thank you for being here today. We'll speak to our friends in the press directly. Stand strong, Gary. We can do this. that we speak up, that yeah. we support the whole community. So I'm, I'm glad folks showed up and it's only the start. This is a long-term, uh, you know, uh, involvement that we have to do. So it's, this is our home. I've been here for 20 plus years. Proud to be a Bureau resident and that's why I'm doing this, because I care. So thanks for being here. You bet, thank you. Yeah, you know, I think like all of us, uh, I was pretty upset when I saw this. It doesn't represent our community. I think that there are people who believe that they can incite fear and sell fear here, and that they can cause us to be divided and start to look at our neighbor and wonder, and wonder if they're safe walking down the street. And I think that their intention when doing this is that they think that they can find some level of power for themselves through the process. But burien has been through a lot over the decades. We've seen hard times, we've seen good times, and we've always come out stronger for it. And I know that our community isn't ever going to give in to fear or hatred or divisiveness, and so I'm very optimistic in that sense, that we're going to come through this even stronger as community. Thank you. Great, thank you. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you all again for tuning in. From Burien Town Square, this is Scott Schaefer.